Good evening, I'm Ann Nyberg. And I'm Darren Kramer. A stunner for New England Patriots fans and folks in Bristol tonight after Pat's tight end Aaron Hernandez was arrested for murder. We have team coverage for you tonight, beginning with News 8's Bob Wilson, live in Hartford. Bob. Drafted in 2010, Aaron Hernandez made a splash in the NFL. Now, three years later, he's making a splash as he was arrested for murder. New England Patriots Aaron Hernandez taken out of his house in handcuffs by police to the courthouse for arraignment. Hernandez did not say anything as the murder charge and five other gun-related charges were read. Accused of killing his friend semi-pro football player Odin Lloyd, police removed evidence from Hernandez's North Attleboro home near where police found Lloyd shot execution style in an industrial park. Police seized Hernandez's cell phone which they say showed the two had been talking just before the death, and his home video security system was reportedly smashed. We know things may have been destroyed. We don't know who destroyed them. When you destroy evidence, you're your own worst enemy. Hernandez's cousin, Randy Garcia, has a sports wall dedicated to the football star. The family is upset, and while they don't know any of the details, they are waiting for the facts to come out before they make any judgments. I was sitting with my nephew, and um, tears came to my eyes because we couldn't believe um, how everybody is so judgmental on the situation and how everybody's, um, you know, you get fanfare when you're doing good and then when something happens, you're, you, everybody wants to pull you under the bus. Randy says his phone has not stopped ringing since his cousin was arrested. And while the New England Patriots released Aaron Hernandez just hours after his arrest, his family says they're sticking by their blood. It's been a sad day. It's been a sad day, but like I said, our condolences go to their family, the Olin family, and, um, and we just keep praying for, for our family, and we keep praying for Aaron, because no matter what, he's still family. And he says one of the problems is there are a lot of young kids in the, in the family who look up to him, and they're not sure exactly what to tell them, other than they're just going to wait for the facts to come out. I'm Bob Wilson, reporting live in the Hartford Newsroom, News 8.